Hey guys, Aaron here. I'm gonna change the fuel injectors on my 2006 Porsche Cayman S. So that's a 987.1 and we're gonna start right now. I wanna thank all my diamond donors here for supporting the channel, making this possible. And I just wanna let you know that if you like doing things to your car, working on it yourself, learning how to save some money, this is the channel for you. Don't miss anything by subscribing now and clicking that bell notification. All right, this is Aaron from the future. It was successful. Uh, you're looking at a good seven hour job. It took the two of us seven hours, one of us working on it, one of us filming it. So after you see this, hopefully it'll be less than seven hours. I bet I could do it in four hours now after having done it once, but still a long job. Just want to let you know that there are two versions of this video. You guys are watching the condensed version, which skips a lot of the detail that you might be interested in if you're actually going to perform this job. If you're gonna do that, check out the link up here for the extended version where I don't edit anything out. It might be boring to watch if you're not doing this job, but if you are, it might be helpful if you come across an issue and you can see how we accomplished it. Um, so in order to watch that one, I just ask that you become a member to the channel. It's cheap as $1.99 a month. You should be doing that anyway if you're watching these videos. Uh, so thank you for your support on that. And anyway, here you go with the condensed version. So this is a fuel injector. This is a new one. Here is the uh, Bosch part. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that in the description of the video so you guys can get them if you need them. Um, it was not too expensive and I'm gonna replace all six in the car. This is the transplant recipient. So if you've been following the channel, you know that when I start this car, I get some smoke on startup. Talking to Jake Raby at Flat Six Innovations, he recommended that I changed the fuel injectors because his theory is that these fuel injectors when the car is off are leaking fuel and dripping down in there. And this is one of the leading causes of bore scoring in these cars uh, because the fuel can mix with your oil and make it not lubricate very well. And it can be a uh, one of the causes of bore scoring. So we're gonna see if after changing these, this helps the smoke at startup issue. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the manifold off to give us some more room down here. So uh, I'll show you the steps on how to do that. So just loosen the two outer clamps here. And then it has some uh, e-torx bolts holding it on. The first one on this side is the easiest one to see. I just got a couple extensions on here to my E10. All right, that's what that bolt looks like. Okay, that's the easy one. You can see there is one more right down here. So I'm gonna grab that one next. All right, so I'm gonna remove this little clip here. Push this little, see it? Push this little metal piece in here and then that lifts right out. All right, yeah, right under that uh, piece right there where the arrow is, is one more. Come up through here and go straight down. So to get this thing out, I just use a magnetic tool, stick it straight down there, pulled them straight out. The one on the far side, we have a, a corrugated hose back there. We have that thing disconnected. Push us directly under the finger right here is the next, the fourth one we gotta get to. Yep. All right, that's it right down there. <laughs> okay, so we removed uh, this access panel to get to your belts. And once doing that, you can see the, uh, Got it pretty easily right there. Pretty good. Oh, there it is. I see it. All right, so now it is fully out. So we have a little magnet here. Ta-da, awesome. All right, so we got two more E10s. Yeah, bolts with the blue heads there. Gotta go ahead and take those off to disconnect the fuel rail from the manifold. First thing. Take a plenum off. This is great. Okay. See if it will rotate at all. Oh, 
Do the ball right there. Oh, there it is. See, I knew there was a little thing. Sorry. You see how it's a U? You just, you just gotta pop it out. <laughs> so it's actually the uh, shifter cable. It's yeah. Under there. there you go. Can't do anything yet. Nice and oily. So the only problem with just pulling this up is this bracket, if you follow it, uh -huh. it goes right where the base is. On top of the, it's part of the manifold. And there's one injector, same style connector as this one. We push and pull. Yep. holding this in now is this hose yeah there's something and it's connected to the manifold so as I pull the manifold up the harness is coming with that yeah it's just a cap okay push it off there cool so brittle like, yeah. it's so stiff that I feel like it'll break at any moment yeah. so I can't even twist it that's how tight it is but I have the injectors here Screwdriver, pull that little o ring, if it's still stuck in there. The new one has an o ring. And you look pretty similar. So at this point, can we get the manifold out? Maybe. Just Something's holding it onto the manifold. I can't see it, I can only feel it. But once you pull that out, I think it's good. Then you can actually pull this whole thing off. No, yeah, it's an eight. Eight, for sure. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a screw because it goes into plastic. And it holds this whole thing in. cable here <sighs> but that's going through this spot right here oh, weird. yeah so like it's a it's going through like this huh. this right here this cable what is it i don't know that's the only thing holding uh, us up right now but how do you take it out is the question without breaking oh there you go Uh, 
looks like it's one of those pad. Yeah. Like a male and female. But the whole housing is plastic, so it doesn't I don't know. Unless you pull the wire, but I don't want to pull a wire. Alright, so this wire we disconnected by just sticking a screwdriver into the into this end of it and uh, pulling that terminal off. Then we can take the manifold out and uh, just stuck some towels in there because I did some vacuuming down here. It's really disgusting. And uh, next, I'm going to take some paper towels and clean all of these out because they are full of oil. All right, a little TLC, some paper towels, and this one looks good as new. Uh, if I were to do this again, I would order these gaskets while I'm here so I could just go ahead and replace them because uh, they're easy. You just pull that little tab, pull right out, put a new one in. They're still in pretty good shape, but might as well get new ones if you're going to do this. All right, on this side, we're just going to try to take the two bolts out that are holding the fuel, fuel rail down. That's the, uh, the one bolt that goes through the manifold and holds the rail down. So it's these two arms that come out on the fuel rail. They also attach to the manifold. There's one. There's one. Ah. That was annoying though. <laughs> Push it up now. So this part's annoying. Oh, we should have asked them about this hose. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Oh, no. Two came out with it. Oh, no. They all came out with it. <laughs> uh, that what we were wanting. <laughs> what they did. I don't see this coming unless there's a way to pull this off and then you just pull it out through there. See what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if that's the case, it makes sense to pull it out the way we just did because then you can install the injectors into the rail, slot slide the rail in, push it in, in, put the hose in. Yeah. All right, since we're only two bolts away and like one vacuum line, I'm getting this manifold off. We're just going to go ahead and do that too because the uh, injectors came out of the rail and they're still in the ports. So, uh, yeah, I think this will be easier just to take the whole manifold off. It's just that one connector that was over there we already took off. So you have to push it. I don't know how tight it is though. Yeah, yeah just raise that and see. This was gonna go through without the manifold. <laughs> I don't want to kink this and break it. So there's that too. It's like seven things you have to look at first. <laughs> this is two bolts, I believe. There's one bolt right there. It's not an AOS, it's a POS. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if we can disconnect this, it just gives you all that freedom. 
Ooh, we can try it if there's a, it's not coming out the other way. Let's try one more time, Let's see. I'm wondering, do we take these couplings off to give it more some room? Yep. Now see, I'm putting pressure on this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put pressure on it. See how it's it's loose enough loose now. enough yeah. to get this off. Yeah. Oh, that way we don't have to worry about that hose. So close. Hey. Fuel rail. Injectors. Oh. Damn. Well done, sir. Well done. One clip. Two. One time. Up and down. <laughs> Leave the pressure. But that's the thing. We weren't. I didn't hear that on any of them. It's coming out over there? Yeah, you see it? Okay. Clip, 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 clip. Oh, because it's forcing all the fluid that way. Yeah. It's higher. There's some more paper towels over there. Both old rings are still in there. All right. Yeah, put a ton of rags over here. <laughs> okay, new injectors getting ready to go in. Uh, they come with new clips. That we have over there and we're gonna hit the o-rings with a little silicone lubricant to help them go in nice and smooth squeeze them into the fuel rail that's the tough one <laughs> you took the yeah i took them out <laughs> Make sure your old O-rings are not in there. Clip. And now hit it this way. Not in far enough. You should catch under that little uh, black piece that's sticking out of the back. Mm -hmm. It's not even on. It doesn't look on. This is straight. held on two more of those all right so when you put these on you have to make sure that the little hole in the back of the clip the little uh, metal on the rail sticks through that hole and then we'll be all the way on flush I don't want to try to push it in and then can't move it because it's like this, right? right. You know? Pinched on something. Yeah, so I figured if we can just take it off from here. 
it'd be easier to try to remove it. Where did we put that pig? longer one. The longer one goes to the Y. Okay, so we're going to do manifold, right? And then fuel rail. Yeah. Uh -oh. Where did this come from? Oh, this should fall. Oh, this is the Y. How did it fall? <laughs> we removed its last connection. We didn't touch the last connection. <laughs> I guess something fell. It's, there's a plastic piece over there. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's too bad. Alright, let's try to get this on now. Should probably spray these out now, right? At least now. A little silicone. Yeah. Do this in my hand. This is going to be very tricky. Oh, where is it? <laughs> it's actually going in pretty smooth so far. Hmm. How did this get by before? There you go. Everything just yeah, fell in. It's the best way. Yeah. Now what I need to do is make sure that they go in the, in the hole for the plenum just right. Oh, you know why? I wonder if those connectors that are supposed to go through here, where are they? You know what I mean? Here, let's put this back over there and I'll grab it. Which connectors? So there's two connectors, this yeah. one uh -huh. and this one. Oh, and it's supposed to go through it? here. I wonder if they're underneath it. Oh. I think I have one right here. I have one right here. Oh, wrong spot. <laughs> Give it a little one more. Outside the fuel rail. No, right in between the right here. Yeah, it's got a little spot in there. In between the fuel, right there. Yeah. Okay, so that's definitely it. <laughs> now let's get it down of where it is. There she is. There's one benefit of having really long fingers. <laughs> oh gosh. There you go. And there's the key. And they're going the right place. Right. Now I can try to put the bolt in. Go back. I forget how tiny this is. Yeah. <laughs> Which hose? Okay, so this hose right here needs to go above. Okay, so I got this bolt. He threads in. Give me my hand too. Okay. I can't see the hole over here. Okay, I think the middle's in. The middle. And if you push down, I think that one's in. All right. So you push down it. Seems you like down. It. you push down on everything. Nice. Yeah, I pushed down on mine too, and I saw the middle going. So yeah. Right. You know, all threw it in. That was actually really nice that it came. went in pretty <laughs> smooth. I say let's put these in so we don't accidentally pull the injectors okay. out again. You reach that one. Because you always want to go inside out okay. on stuff. So what we can do is leave this socket on there. 
let's uh, or leave that on Extension there. Extension on it. Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and grab the the other bolt for the front of the fuel rail. There you go. Now we know that the rail won't come out. All right, we're putting the uh, two middle bolts in now between the manifold, and we'll start tightening those two. All right, now I have to reach under all of them and connect the injectors. Can I just push these in? No, right? Oh, you can. I got the middle one in. I just don't have it pushed all the way. There. Oh, at least it doesn't feel like it. Let's go through the outside. Oh, yeah. So this is injector number. It's like sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. So I don't know if it's fully seated if it's not clicking. It's not coming off. Can't pull it off. That's what I was thinking. Right. Two more bolts back on the AOS to get that in place. Make sure the cables are on the right side. <laughs> Pulling it too much. I thought it was a lot better with this light pointing now. I'm gonna move the line for this one. See him going down here somewhere. Right. Ah, okay. Back the line down there. Yep. And then this goes here. The bigger one of the two. This one goes to the the intake tube, and then the one from the manifold here uh -huh. goes there, and then this goes into the throttle body. And there you have it, Bob, your uncle. I want to say let's install injectors, right. and then maybe see if we can get it on the on the manifold and kind of slot everything in together. Okay. All right, three more injectors installed over here. So now for reassembly. This one had, it was this thing here that was under it, right? Yeah. You see the- And there's a, oh yeah, there's a little bracket over here. So this thing has to be mounted to, to the bottom of that manifold. It's got a little screw hole there. Think about this. You see that one with the throttle body? Uh huh. That one goes here. Yeah. All right. And then that other one, right there. Uh huh. That's a hard line, right? Yep. That's going to connect to this soft Get line. The back of that. All right. Yep. And there you go. Those are the three that we needed to know where they go. Okay. This here. Eight millimeter. In the blind. I guess it just doesn't look as pretty if they mount it on the top. True. <laughs> Let me put this on now. I don't forget. Electrical connector. I don't know if it goes under. Let's put it under the hose clamp so it doesn't put stress on it when it comes down. Should loosen that box. Oh, there you go. Everything kind of just shifted. <laughs> shifted That's into where it needs to be. What it did on the other side, too. It's very convenient. 
All right. Should we start off with, actually while it's loose, let's do the other vacuum. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that, but then that means I have to install more parts, which would probably be harder to get to tightening all these. So let's start by doing the two outer bolts. All right. And then we'll do the inside. Actually, no, let's do the two inside yeah. since they're easier to get to. Yeah. And it'll line everything up for that very annoying bolt. Yes. Let me start with this one. Because you can see it. I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. And uh, at least give me a reference point for the rails. Because the rails aren't connected to the manifold yet. Yeah, we got the little hard clip thing that has to clip into your TV. The, in here, yeah, where's yeah, that? Yeah, that thing that was in the corner there. Out of your hand. Right here? I remember that little pin that goes in, like right here. That hard. Oh, line. yeah, right here. Yeah. This, yeah. Uh, it's lifted up, so I'm just trying to line this, and then I can just okay, push that shit. snaps on top. Yeah. But I just remembered this. So let's put this harness through where it's supposed to go. It's a little tight. Alrighty, let's try to get this bolt in. I remember this one being sort of a pain. Actually, this might be better in here. Oh, yeah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> now the last one. Giddy up. All right, I put the magnet on the threads of the bolt so I can stick it in uh, at this angle and then drop it into the hole. So it's in there now. So pull the magnet off. And we can come in from the top. Okay, so to get that bolt back on, we went on the inside of that fuel line above that line. And uh, you can see it coming through here. And so. Okay. There you go. Putting it back together, it's not as bad. I think we might be on already. Yeah, it looks like the holes lined up pretty well. I think they might be already, because look at where the, the rail, it's already firm. Yeah, it is firm. It looks like it needs to go in further there to, for that thread to line up. Now, is it firm because it's in, or is it firm? Because <laughs> it's jacked up. This one right here. It looks like it's in. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, you can see it from over here. Yeah? Uh, the red uh, O-ring isn't all the way in. Is that how they are supposed to be? I don't know. We'd have to look over there on that side. Oh, I know why it's tight. Because <laughs> we tightened up the two bolts that hold the bracket down. <laughs> Wait a second, I know why. It's tight. And this one, the oranges are all the way inside the port. Yeah, it's like. So, yeah. I'm just tightened up the rail already. So, loosen that up a bit. Oh, that felt good. Yeah, it felt like it sat down. <laughs> Yep. All right. Now, before I tighten these two, I want to at least put the. I can do this one now, and yeah, no more orange. Nice. All right. All right. Two blue bolts for the uh, outside of the fuel rail. Good. Oh. Either side. right about it middle sections we got the one electrical connector well we need to do the injectors first before 
Yeah, we can do that one. We can do the uh, injectors. Yeah, that's probably really important. Okay. Let's see, number one. Probably plug them in. One. Uh, we got the. Two. Oh, easy. Three. What? <laughs> that was much better than the other side. <laughs> oh! Crap. Uh, that's some crap. You know what we forgot? What did we forget? This thing. That wire that goes in here. Oh, yeah. But luckily, I left this loose and where it should be. So, boom. It's right there. But I gotta find. Oh, there it is. Oh, it reach? It does. Yeah. Kinda. Uh, for the most part, yeah. That's what I used to pop it out. Okay, it seems pretty tight. It's not fully seated in there. Yeah, there it is. I felt it go in. And now I'll push it back on to the the uh, a little track. That's the official name of the, the little stuff, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> you look it up in the manual. There you go. That was actually not that bad. And we routed it around this rather than inside. So next time if you take this off. You don't have to worry about that. That just pops out. Nice. All right, let's get some of these hoses in. That's the one that goes on the back. Yes. Let's do this one. And this goes to here. Oh, it's on the wrong side. If I went and cleaned it, it had plenty of oil to lubricate it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Dear sweet baby Jesus, please give us the tolerance. Oh, and the Lord provides. <laughs> Here. This one goes to this guy over here. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and snap this guy back on. Two clicks. Now, this hose is being blocked by this line, or the line, the vacuum line, this one that connects to this is being blocked by this. Now I'm trying to figure out, do I push this down to put the line over, or push it up and put it under the line? Right. And I think it's gonna have to go up so the line can go under it. Let's just pop it out. Yeah, you learned about that. And go over. Boom. And then just slowly pop it back in. There you go. And now it's connected. Hey, all right. All right, now this piece. Actually, um, where's the other hose? You know what hose I'm talking about? The hose for here. Oh, yeah, that's in the sink. Yeah, draining all of the oil out of it. I think so. Or it goes over this until it can stay in there. Yeah, so this can go last. But I want to connect the, the hose for here to there. Let's do that one. Hmm. Yeah. No, I don't the vented know. side goes into the box. Yeah, so what I don't want to do is put silicone spray on this. I put it on that end. Okay. So now it'll slide over. 
So I'm not gonna spray it here, I'll spray it here. Okay. Because I don't wanna mess with anything on this. Electrical. Yeah. Because that will cause problems. Right, so push this into place. I hope I have it clocked right. There's one. The other one's down here. There it is. Alright. And then connect it. Okay. There you go. This goes to there. Which we can do now. This hose goes here. It's a orientation. Pliers. Right. Or what? Yeah, I've got the long, the long one that locks. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a nice one too. I like those. All right. All of it's connected. Let's slowly. This one's gonna be the same way. Dear sweet baby Jesus. Hold on, I need to stretch my yeah, knees. Take a break. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn the car on. Well, key, turn on, it, engine key off. on, engine off. So that way it should start trying to uh, pressurize the fuel system and then we can see if the top connection is leaking anywhere. Ready? Yeah. Do we have anything disconnected? I don't think so, other than the box. Second time. Not seeing or smelling anything yet, so that's a good sign. And button back up and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it see what happens make sure we're not leaking fuel and I don't see fuel. Mm -hmm. That's a plus. Mm -hmm. Alright, try again. Okay, do not forget to plug in the cable on the bottom of the throttle body. Probably plug it in before you attach it. Yeah. Alright, got 
that cable right down there reattached. And we're gonna try this one more time. see no leaks I think it is a success so uh, gonna go ahead and put the cover and everything back on drive it around for a while and we'll report back all right that's it guys we're all done big shout out to my buddy Giselle thanks for coming over and helping me couldn't have done this at least in one day without him it took seven hours with two people that have never done this before so uh, he's actually a Honda mechanic, a real mechanic, unlike me. So uh, it was invaluable having him here to help while I could film. So that really was quite a bit of work. I've heard people say that you don't have to take off the manifold. You can just remove the fuel rail. Don't see how you can do that having just done it. So uh, if you can, please make a video and show me how. I'd be very curious. Or if you have more tips, please leave them in the comments below or just say hi in the comments below. YouTube likes that and it's good for the algorithm. All right, guys, it has been three days since changing the fuel injectors and no smoke on any startup that I've seen so far. I started the car 10 plus times, so I think this did actually solve the problem. Now, I did get a really rough idle when I started this and uh, Jake Raby assured me that that is proof that my fuel injectors were indeed bad and the it is the computer relearning the timing on that so uh, after driving it around for a couple days the idle well actually after just about 10 minutes the uh, idle seemed to work itself out it was running a lot smoother uh, two days later so yesterday I was driving it for a long time and when I pulled back into my driveway I got a check engine light let me show you the codes that I got here um, because I guess from it running rough, I got these codes and, uh, one kind of, uh, expert in the field told me that it was probably a vacuum leak. Uh, Jake thinks it's just from it relearning. So, uh, I reset the codes with the car running with just a cheap, uh, diagnostic tool and the idle immediate, the uh, rough idle immediately came back as soon as I reset the codes. Um, so Jake suggested that I use the uh, PWIZ and reset them because indeed when I plugged the PWIZ in, those codes were still there. So that generic thing did not actually reset the codes. Got the codes reset, um, rough idle still there, drove it, rough idle seems a little bit better. Codes are not there yet, but uh, stay tuned because I'll be making another follow-up video, I'm sure, on figuring out what's going on now. And I will definitely be making a detailed video on why you will probably want to change your fuel injectors on your 987s. Even if you are not seeing any problems, um, I learned a lot of information from Jake through this process. So I wanna make a separate video to share that. This one, you got plenty of information already. Hope it was helpful. Subscribe, like, see you guys on the next one.